Hello, welcome to the documentary of the newly discovered Gary's Mod monster species known as Vagiponies. We have gathered footage for all to see. Here, we will venture into the G-Mod wilderness as we observe the activities of some of the most notable subspecies of the Vagipony. Let us begin. Let's start off with one of the most notable Vagiponies, the Vagidash. It is highly intelligent and one of the most dangerous by physical standards. It has a very high speed. It's so fast, it can easily corner its prey and ultimately kill it, or vagify him or her. If it kills its prey, it will cause an explosion that the Vagiponies are surprisingly able to survive. The explosion also gives the victim. All Vagiponies are able to do this, by the way. <laughs> it is also mischievous, as it is known to cause misfortune with sabotage or set. Uh, oh. If I have to crack some skulls, I- As we observe, this Vagidash has decided to vagify this poor soldier who has fallen prey. What? <laughs> This soldier has now been vagified. It will loyally respect Vagiponies and spend the rest of his days as a Vagi for all eternity. The next Vagipony we will observe is the Vagishai. It can consume anything it comes across. It will not hesitate to eat a living creature whether it be dead or alive. It can also eat inanimate objects. Also, whether it kills its prey by blowing it up or eating it alive, it will give it regardless, in which it will later consume the remains. The Vagishai has great flight abilities giving it very good agility and accurate aim, even better than the Vajra Dash. It's like Christmas morning. It seems the Vatashai has found prey. This unfortunate blue sniper is about to become dinner. Let us observe how it hunts this prey. This sniper has been blown up without warning. The Vajashai then proceeds to consume the gibbs. Oh. The Vajashai is also secretive when consuming the remains of its prey, as anyone who dares to disturb it is found to be blown up after a stunning roar. this unfortunate red demon man right here. In a case like this, disturbance victims will not be killed. Instead, they will be blown up into oblivion. <laughs> What's this? A Vajaneer has stumbled upon the Vatashai. Let's all be quiet and observe their interactions. Crowley. Come on. It seems that the dangerous Vagineers will not attack the Vagiponies, and vice versa. This seems reasonable, for both species belong to the Vagi family. Our next species of Vagipony is actually a duo, which would be the Vagilara and the Vagibond. These two cooperate in killing their prey. They are also hardly aware of their surroundings, and most likely due to this. This is the only footage we have of the duo, because one of our poor cameramen apparently died. We do not know the exact fate of the cameraman because the camera was destroyed. The data chip, however, was somehow found by a native seaman who kindly turned it into us. See? It was also somehow unscathed. But this was the last time we heard, or saw in this case, from our cameraman. The next Vagipony we will observe is the Vagitrixie. Unlike the others, it relies on magic instead of physical strength. Another thing different is, if it fails to kill its prey with magic, it will run away. For the Vagitrixie is a cowardice sword and is too afraid to use its physical strength. This is the Vagipony that our cameramen were most able to get close to. Oh look, it seems to have spotted a Goomba. It is all observed its action. This Vagipony apparently pressed the unfortunate Goomba against the ground until it was cross. Not to be confused with the way Mario defeats Goomba, it eats its prey by inflating its head and then sucking it in, a similar manner to the Vagitron. What's this? It has put in an off blood loose spot. It looks like it's going to try to use its magical powers on larger prey. Let's observe. Oh. 
Apparently, apparently I was watching this boy said into a paint ring, killing him. This proves that the badger trick be killed larger prey with this method as a preference. The next one we will observe is the badger rarity. It is the most psychotic of the badger ponies and can attack without warning. It also has very strong magical abilities, powerful enough to lift a bear. What's this? The badger rarity is gone! It seems to have confronted a blue scout. Let's rush to where it went! Oh dear, we arrived too late. Apparently she beat the scout to death with his own bat. This proves that the badger rarity kills its prey in an unorthodox method from the others. It will almost never kill its prey by explosion. Great Scott! The dangerous air project has appeared! This is possibly a once in a lifetime natural event! Let's all observe what happens! <laughs> what a pleasant surprise! The badger rarity killed the air in one hit! This proves that the badger ponies are stronger than the air and also proves another weakness. Moving on, we will observe another badger pony called the Badger Pie. This one has unusual abilities. It can pull out items out of nowhere and use them to kill its prey. It still has the ability to kill them by blowing them up like the others. It can also alternate between quadrupedal and bipedal being so unusual. Since there's no prey around, it is doing nothing but looking around. What's this? It's trying to break the fourth wall! Damn! And it dropped in. This proves a weakness for the Badger Ponies. They cannot break the fourth wall. Any attempt to do so will result in immediate death. Almost no one knows this, not even the Badger Ponies themselves. Moving on, another Badger Pony species is called the Badger Jack. It is very strong, and if it tried to corner its prey like how the Badger Dash would, the prey would already be dead due to its strength. It can also deliver a super massive apple bucket strong enough to send something out of the planet and into the infinite field of space. <laughs> Which it just did to this unfortunate red medic. Also, unlike the Epaljack, apples only make the badger death stronger, and this can make them very deadly. Ironically, the others don't have similar abilities. This blue pyro is about to unknowingly demonstrate what happens when the badger jack consumes an apple. <laughs> apple. To the Vagi Jack, apples are more of a steroid than a poison. As you just saw, it allows it to go bipedal, making it even more deadly. However, the effects are only temporary, so it will go on a killing spree to use the best of its power until it wears off. The next badger pony we will demonstrate is the badger derpy. It is the least intelligent of the badger ponies, and will usually sit at random places and do absolutely nothing. However, at the same time, it is the most dangerous by speed, faster than both badger dash and badger shy. However, due to it hating being called stupid, it will only attack when such an activity is done, or if it is provoked. Oh! Well, this unfortunate red scout is about to find out. What the hell? You. Are. Stupid! It's starting to bore me how much you suck! <laughs> 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 Yeah, I dare you! Rage quit! Ah, oh, crap! As you just saw, it just flew sky high into the air and then charged at the poor scout. Here's another fact about the Vagin Derby. Due to its stupidity, it will forget that it even just attacked the victim. It is also unable to vagify. Also, when it has forgotten that it even attacked, it will say the following. <laughs> This translates to, I just don't know what went wrong. Now we will discuss the most elusive Vagipony of all. It is the Vagilite Sparkina. It is the most violent of all Vagiponies, even more violent than Vagirarity. Its magical strength surpasses that of Vagitrixie, Vagilara, and Vagirarity. It is also the most intelligent and dangerous in all abilities, and is very hostile. It is even more aware of its surroundings than Vagilara and Vagibond. As you can see here, the photographer had a close encounter with the Vagilite Sparkhina, as he almost died documenting it. Very few who encountered the Vagilite Sparkhina lived to tell the tale. 
This photographer escaped with a broken heart. For the record, this photographer does not work for us and was kind enough to give us these photos. At his request, we will not reveal his identity. Regardless, we give him our thanks. Finally, we will discuss the rarest kind of all, the original Vagimane 6. Only one of each Vagimane 6 member exists, and they are very, very rare. This was possibly the original of the Vagipunis you just saw. It is also possible that the Vagipunis from earlier evolved from these Vagipunis. They looked completely different as you can tell. They had very elongated mouths, and the tongues were apart from their mouths, and all curled up somehow. They also had strange eyes, which were closed all the time. We thank our fellow contributor the color red pens for these pictures. As you can see, they were taken at different locations. It is unknown what their abilities are. It is now rumored that this kind of magic pony is now extinct. As these photos were taken a long time ago, if these ponies are ever sighted again, then it will be the discovery of a lifetime. That's all we have for this documentary. We all hope you learned some valuable lessons about the Vagiponies. If possible, we might do more Gmod monsters that have not yet been documented. Good day.